Greetings. I'm Hugh Patrick, uh, Director of the Center on Japanese Economy and Business at Columbia Business School. On behalf of the Center, I'm delighted to welcome all of you to our special lecture with Taro Aso, Deputy Prime Minister of Japan, Minister of Finance, and Minister of State for Financial Services. And uh, I'm especially delighted to welcome you to Columbia. Mr. Asa, thank you. Um, I, I guess I'm incredibly impressed by Minister Aso's commitment to enhancing the U.S.-Japan relationship, not just in security and business circles, but in an academic environment like this. Uh, after all, yesterday he was meeting Vice President Pence in Tokyo. Last night he got on a plane from Tokyo. That was Wednesday night. Now Wednesday afternoon, he's here at Columbia giving, giving his talk. Uh, and the, of course, that was uh, with, the, with the Vice President Pence. It was a continuation or development of the U.S.-Japan economic dialogue. So uh, my sense is that uh, uh, Minister Asso regards an extra day as a day gained to communicate better on U.S.-Japan relations. And so we thank you so much for that. Um, so tonight we will have this opportunity to hear uh, the latest on sort of strengthening U.S.-Japan trade, investment, and business relationships, uh, not, not only bilaterally, but uh, in terms of the Asia-Pacific context, and indeed globally. Um, of course, uh, I don't think we should expect to learn secrets, but we will have the opportunity to hear from uh, Minister Aso his sort of current thoughts and insights. Uh, Actually, my main job is to introduce our moderator, Professor Takatoshi Ito, who is professor at the School of International and Public Affairs at Columbia and director of the Program on Public Pensions and Sovereign Funds here at the Center on Japanese Economy and Business. Um, as you know, he's a distinguished uh, economist, uh, well-known internationally. He's had an outstanding academic career uh, before Columbia, he was a professor at the University of Tokyo, before that professor at Hitotsubashi University, before that professor at the University of Mes uh, Minnesota. He served as a uh, senior advisor in the research department of the International Monetary Fund and was deputy vice minister for international affairs in the Ministry of Finance for two years. He's uh, published a lot in books and uh, contributes to to op-ed pieces, and you see pieces of his in things like the Financial Times and Nikko and Keizai Shimbun, as well as professional journals. Uh, before I turn it over to Professor Ito, one housekeeping note. Please turn your cell phones on silent so we won't be interrupted. And also, uh, no photos or villos, uh, videos are permitted either uh, for the, during the lecture or in the reception afterwards. Uh, so we will be having a Q&A opportunity after uh, Minister Asso's speech and discussion with Professor Ito. So don't ask any question now. Well, let's wait until then. So, so let me turn it over to Professor Ito. Taka. Thank you, Hugh, for a kind introduction. Um, it is my uh, great uh, pleasure to introduce our distinguished uh, lecturer, uh, Mr. Taro Aso, who is uh, currently, I repeat what uh, Hugh said, um, uh, serves as a deputy prime minister, finance minister, and minister of state for financial services uh, in Japan. Uh, that, that is the FSA. So three different uh, very important roles uh, in one person. I want to extend a warm welcome to him and express our deep gratitude for taking uh, uh, time to join us uh, today. It's a busy schedule from yesterday in Tokyo, as you mentioned, uh, meeting uh, 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 Vice President Mike Pence. And tomorrow he'll be in Washington, D.C. for a, a spring meeting of IMF and the World Bank, meeting all the important uh, counterparts, and, and he found this uh, um, time to come to uh, New York and, and Columbia University. We are very grateful to this um, uh, fitting us in the busy 
schedule. I will not uh, spend too much time uh, uh, detailing um, uh, his um, uh, impressive uh, biography because you have um, um, you have it in hard copy in your packet, and uh, we are look all looking forward to hearing uh, him speak. So I will just briefly uh, mention the uh, uh, his his uh, uh, long career. So uh, minister. Minister Aso served as uh, CEO of Aso Cement uh, Company uh, before he turned uh, uh, into politics. And in 1979, uh, he was elected to the House of Representatives. And he repeated uh, that uh, 12 times uh, since then. He has also uh, already served as Prime Minister uh, in 2000, um, uh, 2007, uh, 2008 to uh, nine. And uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister for Internal Affairs for Communication before that. And um, um, just to show that he's a man of many talents, he represented Japan as a Montreal Olympic Games uh, for clay target shooting in 1976. So um, today, uh, Minister Aso will discuss the current state of the Japanese economy and his own role in guiding the economy to a higher growth path. And um, I'm excited to hear to, uh, what he has to say and looking forward to discussions um, after uh, his uh, speech. And so uh, without further ado, uh, Minister Aso, the floor is yours. Well, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, Professor Ito, and thank you all for coming. Many different kinds of people are here, seems to me, from not only in New York, but many, many places from the, all, all over in America, seems to me. Well, my, my, na my, na my name is Taro. Well, Taro Aso. Well, I, I said tonight that in Japan, uh, we are no such, as, uh, such things as a lost two decades, lost 20 years. There were indeed two gains decades. What do I mean by that? You may say the Nikkei is still about the half its or half its peak, that is, uh, yes, about that is about half its peak. You may say also, Japan's economy has barely grown. That is what you, what uh, you all know about it. And I am not making such a uh, how should say, evident evident, evident uh, point. My point, ladies and gentlemen, is to say that in the past 20 years, Japan has undergone a revolution. In the future, the people will look back and say that in Japan, there was a quiet revolution. In the gain two decades, what exactly happened? Let us start with Japanese women. The female labor participation rate in Japan in, back in 1987 was 53.3%. In the same year in America, it was 61.9%. Now this is reversed. In 2015, in Japan, the female labor participation rate was as high as 64.6%. And in America, it was 63.4%. Next, cooperating accounting. That is now the transparency, very much so. If you are a CEO, you fear the shareholders so much that you never spend too much on whining or entertaining. 
It is no wonder that in Ginza, the, the how, how should I say, posh uh, nightlife district, let's say. <laughs> I don't know how many of you been there, but uh, you, you now see fewer and fewer chauffeur-driven cars and more and more coaches, you know, buses filled with Chinese, Chinese shoppers. <laughs> do I miss the Ginza of days gone by? Of course I do. Then what about the corporate governance? In this regard, that has changed also very, very much. Eight out of 10 listed uh, com companies now have more than, more than the two non-executive in, non ind independent members of the board. As a result, corporate Japan is paying a lot in shareholders. Dividend now total more than 10 trillion yen, or like uh, 90 billion US, do US dollars, some 2% of GDP. The previous record was uh, mere 6 trillion yen, as far as I remember. My ministry, the Ministry of Finance, is still a bastion of the, of the best and brightest, but that is all. Its teeth are much less strong than ever before. It has got no say over financial industries because we now have the Financial Service Agency. Once the monopoly, mon monopoly in the budgeting is now share powers with the Prime Minister's uh, uh, cabinet, cabinet office. So I must be their uh, kind of shareholders. I say to them, you are you now no much, uh, not something I should, uh, you are now much uh, weaker. Still I say you are smart, lose no hope, lose, lose, no, lose no hope. Once upon a time in Japan, it was, it was a mandarin um, uh, bureaucrat who sat behind the wheel. Today, the cabinet office has got the power to promote or demote the high ranking, ranking officials. Again, that is New Japan, but even that is not enough. The first past the post electoral system gave more power to the party or the politician. Faction within the party, political party, can dis distribute almost nothing if you add the operational independence of the Bank of Japan to the picture, it is seven more certain even more, even more certain that Japan today is a much, much different place from the 25 years ago. The entire system was being rebuilt, waiting for the leader determined to take hold steps to shake the country out of its long, long malaise. That explains why the Abe administration is so strong. Its political center now really lies at the center. It only took the dedicated leadership, which we are offering now. Now, the ladies and gentlemen, there is both the good news and bad news as well. The good news is that in Japan throughout the years, our Social fabric has not has not been torn torn apart. The economic slump was severe, yet people endured. They stayed calm and remained flexible, or even grateful. Grateful, I mean. Sorry. 
the sense, sense of the sense of the pride among the workers is still intact. Airline crew will not beat you. <laughs> also take a look at the taxi drivers in Tokyo. They are still proud of why, what they do without taking tips from passengers. I wonder whether you really need an Uber in Japan where high quality taxi services are available and um, affordable. Also, the gap between the rich and poor is still narrow. Vending machines of all kinds are even more devoted and found on every single corner in, on, in the town, full of coins and paper bills without being destroyed. What about the bad news? I must say that is welfare payment that are now the serious burden. Their gross total now stand at uh, 1,062 billion, billion US, US dollars. 1,062 billion US dollars. That is bigger than the difference and uh, de uh, defense, military defense spending of the five biggest military spenders of the United States, China, Saudi Arabia, and Russia, and United Kingdom, all put together. A welfare super superpower, that is Japan. It's no wonder young men and women are much more risk averse. That must change. Unless young men and women get more forthcoming, we can't grow. But the question is how? How can Japan as a mature democracy in equality and the law best reduce the cost of entitlement? I know that it, it is a challenge. It is indeed the biggest challenge ever for Japan, I think. And I met, and I am determined to push that reform. That is my own test, task, I mean. But we are making progress, fortunately. If we do nothing, welfare spending will grow each and every year by about one trillion yen, or about nine billion US dollars. Our effort has reduced this growth by half over the past five consecutive years. That is because we must give hope to the young. Unless you got your sons and daughters aiming high and higher, uh, well, higher and then higher, you can build a better future and hope that matters more than anything else in the country's growth. Let me <coughs> just a sip of water here. <coughs> Sorry. Well, to be frank, I'm not, I'm not sure if I may be around 20 years from now. I'm already 76. So Shinzo Abe is must, uh, he's 14, 15, younger, younger, younger than I, but he won't be around as a leader in 2037. Our task, ladies and gentlemen, is to pave the road for the children generation to stay strong, confident, and pro prospective. To that end, needless to say, US-Japan economic ties do count. I'm looking forward very, very much to deep, deepening ties with the Vice President Pence, whom I, whom I met yesterday as your president was saying. Japan-US economic dialogue is a framework the Japan side proposed. Still at an NRA stage, it is to address three areas. How can the two countries that together represent 30% of the world economy, 
best cope with the problems of the world, financial and otherwise. That is number one. How can our two countries best seek win-win cooperation in the development of the in infrastructures, energy and cyberspace? That is number two. Third and last, we must enhance fair and open market and the investment climate between us and across the globe. We must also enhance the rules-based order between us and across the globe. I am determined to work in tandem with Mr. Mike Pence in order for both of us to pave the way for future generations of Japanese and Americans and many others. Am I confident to do so? Of course I am. The reason goes as follows. Japan and America, ladies and gentlemen, are both been there and done that, allies. Together, we have come a long way. Take a look at the automobile trade, automobile car trade. Back in, nine, in the 1980s, the trade deficit, America ran against Japan, amounted to some 58% out of, the, of its total deficit, US trade deficit on red numerals. In the middle of the decades, Japan exported a three million car each year to the United States of America. Then started was massive investment by Japanese car makers into America. Only five years later, in 1990s, Japanese car makers were already producing one million car in the United States. Today, the number is four million, far more than the number Japan sent to the state 30 years before. Please do remember this. The outstanding amount of Japanese FDI in the state now stands some the $411.2 billion. That is the second biggest, second only to the United Kingdom which has invested $483.8 billion in, this, in the state. Don't you think it is remarkable? If the British have a special kind of accent, we Japanese don't even speak English. <laughs> we only speak uh, brokering English like what I'm doing now. <laughs> huh? Japanese investment has uh, generated uh, eight. 100,000 jobs across the United States of America. Regarding the manufacturing jobs, Japan is the single biggest job generator, creating 400,000 jobs. The trade deficit you run with Japan makes only 9% of the total. Used to be over 53%, I think. On the other hand, the U.S. trade deficit with China is outstanding, with 47% uh, of, the, of, the, of the total. Japan, China, five times different. Yes, in the short space of the 30 years, Japan and America have come a long, long way. Well, my time is up, seems to me. I have spoken about the two decades, uh, two, three, three decades. That was, a, that was a formative age for the future of Japan and for the future of an, of an even, how should I say, tighter bilateral relationships, which is why I shy away from nothing. I, I remain optimistic. After all, how can a nation regain confidence within, without its leader staying optimistic for their country's future? That concludes my speech. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Minister Aso.
And uh, we're going to uh, start um, uh, the Q&A session, but I abuse my power as a moderator and ask um, a few questions uh, first. So um, it is really uh, fortunate to have you, um, you know, day after uh, the Mike uh, Pence uh, uh, ASO uh, economic uh, uh, dialogue yesterday. So I, I, I'd like to uh, poke a little bit on the contents of um, what you discussed um, um, uh, with uh, uh, Mike Pence. And um, uh, specifically that, as you mentioned, this is a framework Jap Japanese side proposed, unlike you know, US demand in the 80s and 90s for uh, opening up Japanese market and so on. So um, um, how, what, what is the goal of um, uh, economic dialogue? And um, uh, what would you like to achieve uh, in, in this um, uh, framework? And you mentioned three things. Yes, we, we heard it. But we'd like to know a little bit more. And um, uh, the, um, uh, I know that Mr. Abe was disappointed um, by the, uh, Mr. Trump rejecting TPP. And there are some uh, people worried about the protectionism rhetoric of, um, of the Trump administration. So could this framework uh, be a sort of safeguard of uh, securing uh, openness of, uh, of the United States, uh, Japan demanding you know, openness uh, of the United States. Uh, is that something that hidden in this, um, uh, uh, your wording of the win-win uh, relationship in uh, uh, economic, uh, uh, economic um, uh, relationship? Um, some people are worried still about sort of nightmare of the 1980s, 90s, uh, that US demanding open up the uh, Japanese economy, but you know, I, we, we want to hear that this this is different. This is different uh, in the new uh, relationship. So, can you um, elaborate uh, what this framework going to be? Hi. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now you may hear my beautiful Japanese. I <laughs> know. <laughs> 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 ペンス大統領とあの昨日あの会談をさせていただきました2月にあ安倍総理とともにアメリカホワイトハウスでトランプ安倍会談のに同行した時に、まあ、ペンス麻生の間でエコノミックダイアログを立ち上げるという話をした時以来2回目にお目にかわらせていただきました。Well, yesterday、uh, I had a meeting with、uh, Vice President Pence. It goes back、uh, in February、uh, when the Japan US summit was held between Prime Minister Abe and Mr.、Ch uh, President Trump. And、uh, I accompanied Prime Minister Abe to attend that summit meeting. And at that occasion, it was decided that under the leadership of myself as well as Vice President Pence, economic dialogue meeting is to be kicked off between Japan and the United States. So it was the second time that I met him yesterday. これまで日米交渉といえば、まあ、基本的には摩擦というものを経済摩擦というものをいかに解消するかという話をアメリカから振り込まれて日本が答えるというのがこれまでの例であって例えば繊維交渉自動車交渉貿易交渉もう半導体農業いろいろありますけれども全て交渉のもとは摩擦だったと思いますけれども今回は摩擦ではなくて日本とアメリカの今特に摩擦があるわけではありませんけれども協力してどうするかというのが問題で摩擦が協力というのになって日本からこのアイディアを振り込んだというところは今までと一番違うところだと思います。
Well, thus far, uh, traditionally speaking, as far as Japan-U.S. negotiations is concerned, it always stemmed all the time from the basic friction that was seen between the two countries, what is called economic friction. And it was always the United States side who had proposed to have a negotiation vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Japan, and uh, because the U.S. had asked, Japan had always uh, responded uh, to that uh, call by the United States. That has been the traditional practice. Uh, so we have done many uh, trade negotiations in areas like uh, textile, automobile, semiconductors and agriculture and whatnot, but uh, all stems down to the uh, negotiation which had uh, uh, sprung uh, from the uh, sources of uh, friction first. But this time around, the friction was not the cause for having a dialogue. Uh, in fact, currently, we don't have any certain frictions which are ongoing between our two countries, fortunately. Uh, so we are now uh, found, uh, basically founded on the spirit of our cooperation, and it was Japanese side this time that uh, uh, we said to the United States, maybe Maybe we can uh, have a talk to have a uh, thing uh, to be produced based on the uh, cooperation. And that is a big difference uh, between then and now. The environment has changed a lot. For example, when the American 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 全貿易の 53% が赤字、それは日本,が日本の赤字です。しかし、今は 9% の赤字までに変わった、その最大の理由は、日本の投資がアメリカの国内に向かって、アメリカの中での4000億ドルの以上の投資をアメリカの中でやって、アメリカの中で雇用を80万人以上増やしているという現実がこれまでの今までの状況とは全く変わったものになったんだと思っています。And over the years, the economy has changed greatly. Uh, for example, uh, of course, the uh, friction used to be the very topic between Japan and the United States, uh, because then the 53% uh, of, of the all the U.S. trade deficit uh, they had was vis-a-vis -a -vis, uh, Japan. But now it has dwindled down to 9%. Uh, so uh, the, and it has come a long way. Uh, Japanese FDI has been uh, into the United States in a very great portion. Uh, in fact, the investment amounts to uh, about $400 billion or more coming from uh, Japan, FDI, into the uh, United States. And also, it had created new jobs amounting to more than 800,000 thus far. That is a true reality, changed reality. That is where we are now. We are totally different from what we used to be in the past. トランプあのペンス、えー、副大統領もインディアナの州知事として少なくともインディアナという州はアメリカの州の中でカリフォルニアオハイオに次いで3番目に日本の進出企業の多い州ですその意味では4万8千人とか5万人からのアメ,アメリカ人の従業員をほとんどいわゆるラストベルって言われたあの地域でマニファクチャリングの例えば今で言えばスバルトヨタ東洋レオンみんなあのインディアナに工場を持っておられてそれらの工場では多くの会社の人たちがそこで働いておられるわけですけれども。あのそういったことに関して知識は終わりでしたから少なくともこのアメリカと日本との関係においていろんな答えを出すのにお互いによく分かった上で話ができると思っていますので私どもとしては日本とアメリカで作り上げられたようなルールをアジア太平洋でも広められていくそういったような形になればいいということを考えながら私どもはやろうと思っております。Of course, the Vice President Pence used to be the governor of the state of Indiana, uh, and uh, uh, there are, of course, the uh, Indiana uh, had been the third largest destination for Japanese investment uh, in the United States, uh, following uh, California as well as Ohio. 
and had created locally about uh, 48,000 to 50,000, and a lot of them has been hired, uh, hiring the uh, local uh, residents. And uh, of course, the manufacturing used to be uh, founded mostly in the Rust Belt, but uh, for example, in case of uh, Indiana State, Japanese companies and manufacturers like Subaru, Toyota, and Toyo Leon all have a factory there, uh, hiring uh, lots of people locally. So Vice President at least knows the contribution made by Japan uh, in this regard. And uh, uh, we are both well informed about uh, the uh, Japan-US relationship, and uh, we can really have a uh, good talk. Uh, that's what I felt vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, Vice President uh, uh, Pence. So I think it would be very nice if we could uh, proceed with our talk based on the uh, rules uh, which would be appropriate, which could uh, uh, eventually be spread throughout uh, Asia and Pacific. And this is the spirit under which we are uh, trying to proceed uh, with our dialogue. Thank you very much. Um, I think we now gained uh, uh, insights into this um, uh, uh, ASO Pence uh, economic dialogue, and we are looking forward to uh, developments um, uh, from from here. Um, now, I, I'd like to shoot the second question, which was actually not in the your speech, uh, but um, um, I'd like to um, ask questions on the monetary policy and fiscal policy, and um, after four years of uh, Bank of Japan efforts, lot, lots of efforts, QQE, QQE2, and a, a negative interest rate, and YCC, the inflation rate is still below 0.5%, far away from 2%. And now peop, uh, many people think that uh, there is a limit to a monetary policy. It's reaching a uh, closer limit of a monetary policy. There are side effects of monetary policy. People are saying that and calling for fiscal policy. And some people call for um, uh, converting uh, uh, government bonds in the balance sheet of the BOJ to be zero coupon perpetual bonds so that you know, the Minister of Finance doesn't have to raise taxes to redeem it. Some other economists, um, Western economists, are calling for um, issuing more bonds, but with the promise not to raise taxes. How to pay for it? Well, future inflation will reduce the real value of those uh, newly issued bonds, but those can be spent on the infrastructure investment. But that would, some, you know, including myself, that some people worry that those uh, kind of fiscal stimulus at, the, at this point can you um, share with us your views on uh, the room to for room for additional fiscal spending just because mm. the inflation rate is below two percent? Kizai また、uh, we know very well uh, that uh, we have heard of the theories of economics uh, that uh, Professor Ito has just uh, mentioned. Uh, and uh, uh, all the learned people uh, who visit Japan, inclusive of uh, George Soros, always uh, pay a visit to my office. And uh, I know about uh, the theory about helicopter money and so forth. Talking about money for one hour and 30 minutes without any interpretation is purely, surely one hour and a half minutes, talking nothing about money. <laughs> Age over 90 years old? Well, Remarkable character. I really felt so. But anyway, あの、現実的に、現実的にはいろんな問題があるんで、例えば日本銀行という中央銀行の自主性が完全に失われますんで、金融政策に対する信任が損なわれることになるのではないか。but in reality, uh, there are many problems that we see. Uh, for example, the independence of BOJ might be undermined, which means that uh, uh, likewise the confidence on the monetary uh, policy uh, might be also uh, 
undermined as well and hurt. 財政規律というものに対してマーケットというものがいわゆる信頼が損なって結果として日本の国債の金利が暴騰することになるのではないか。And also the market confidence on the fiscal discipline might also be undermined,、uh, inviting the situation where JGB rates could shoot up very significantly. ご存知のように、日本は GDP の2倍の当たるいわゆる債務残高を抱えて、まあ、先進国の中では最悪の財政状態なんですが、そのような日本で、政府が財政規律を完全に放棄して、あの財政破綻とか、インフレによって、国民生活に大きな混乱を招くことというのは許されるのではないかと考えています。Uh, you might know that、uh, already uh, Japan's uh, outstanding debt is a double of GDP, which is the worst within the advanced country. So, in that country like Japan,、uh, can we allow for the government to abandon、uh, fiscal、uh, discipline? No, because、uh, uh, it might invite uh, the uh, fiscal.、Uh, Public finance to go bust and the inflation might be invited, which could give a big damage and confusion to the national livelihood, which should not happen. しかも日本では高齢化、少子高齢化が進んで、年金生活者のパーセンテージが増えているという状況にあっては、インフレというものは。年金生活者にとっては全く絶望を意味することになりかねんと思っています。And uh, uh, given the ongoing lowering of the fertility and the aging of the society in Japan, the percentage of、uh, pensioners are increasing in Japan. So, if the inflation、uh, remains to be very low, then that would be a desperate situation for the pensioners. というものの健全化というものを両立に取り組んでいくというのが私どもの姿勢であって、現実の国民生活に責任を我々、政治家は負っていますので、それが私の仕事だと思っております。So,、uh, all, all we could do is to steadily、uh, continue with our earnest effort. There is no quick answer for that matter.、Uh, therefore, efforts will be made all out to achieve economic reconstruction and uh, uh, fulfillment of uh, fiscal discipline as well as fiscal consolidation at the、uh, same time. And uh, uh, that is the、uh, Job incumbent upon the politicians、uh, like ourselves that we have to really look into the、uh, national livelihood in reality. And as a person responsible for that,、uh, we will do our job in that manner. Thank you.、Um, I'm relieved. I'm happy to hear that, those uh, <laughs> uh, fiscal discipline、uh, from you. So、um, I'd like to monopolize, but the,、um, the last, question,、uh, last of my questions. Uh, is going back to your talk, and、uh, this is,、uh, uh, I guess, good news, your, your good news part that you had,、uh, you, cite, you, you cited the women participation rate rising and the corporate governance um, uh, 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 moving forward um, as uh, uh, good news. And I agree, I agree. And、um, I think women、uh, are participating、uh, happily more to, to the、um, uh, uh, labor market because of、uh, enhanced、uh, support. And、uh, companies are happy to uh, uh, raise uh, dividends so that, um, um, so that foreign investors are happy and、uh, Japanese investors are happy. Now, We, we know that, and I, I think the、uh, people in this room、um, actually know that, but they demand more. They, they want more revolution、uh, coming, and、uh, what would they be? Well, maybe labor market reform and、um, the agricultural reform.、Mm -hmm. Yes, you're debating that as a third arrow,、uh, and as, as a, your uh, uh, job of uh, not finance minister, maybe, but、uh, as a Deputy Prime Minister, of course, you have to 
uh, make progress on those um, uh, other reforms, in, uh, uh, which is in the third arrow category. And uh, frankly, I think the investors in this room are a bit disappointed by the very quiet Japan. And they are, they are now uh, shorting the uh, European <laughs> assets. But um, we need, I think you need to advertise more. You need uh, uh, flashy headlines to invite not, Chinese, not only Chinese tourists, but the uh, American, uh, American investors back in, 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 in Tokyo. So um, uh, what can we expect from uh, the new uh, uh, revolutionary third arrow, faster third arrow? And what would they, would they be? Can you enlighten right. us and, and give, give more right. good news to right. the um, investors uh, okay. in America? アメリカ国ではさまざまな分野でこれまでできるはずがないと。言われたような既成改革を進めてきました。すでに今お話しになった電力が自由化されてみたり、電力事業が自由化されてみたり、医療改革などいうのはものすごい勢いで進んでいます。農業についても60年ぶりに農業改革を行われて、農協というものの改革
雇用情勢が大きく変わって、失業率がついに 3% を切って、2.8% まで失業率が下がった、こういった雇用情勢が好転している、今こそがチャンスなんだと思って、これを改革の一番に進める大きなチャンスなんだと考えています。The、uh, labor situation and employment situation had changed greatly over the years, and、uh, now our unemployment rate is、uh, down to 2.8%, even below、uh, 3%. Uh, and、uh, I think this is a very good turnout、uh, for the、uh, current、uh, employment situation, giving us a big opportunity to go ahead further、uh, with our reform. So that is why this、uh, labor reform has been counted as a number one priority、uh, for our reform program. 確かに伊藤先生がおっしゃるようにあのこの種の改革っていうのがなかなか海外に発信されていない、ね、少しは中国に見習えという話もよくわからんじゃない,ないところなんであのこういった話をこんなこともやっとんだっていう話をちょっと。大蔵省財務省の役人に求めても、最もそういう才能のないのが役人にやってますから、あのとてもじゃないなとは思うんですけれども、いずれにしても私どもとしては、今、安倍内閣の支持率というものは、今、4年、4か月が今、この内閣ができてから出てますけれども、支持率がこれまでの中では、ずっと、と高いところで張り付いていて、50% を超えた状況がずっと続いていますので、こういったのはこれまででは例がない、こういった時にこそ改革はやらないかんので、あの改革というのは、内閣が弱いとかあの、政治が安定してないとできることではありませんので、今こそやらないかんと思って、これまでの間な。貯めてたものが今一挙にことを進めようと思っております。Of course,、uh, Professor Ito had implied that、uh, all the reforms underway in Japan、uh, d o e s not get、uh, communicated to the outside world much. So, maybe on that score, we should copy or emulate China to become a more good at PR. <laughs> And、uh, we've been、uh, asking maybe the officials of the Ministry of Finance can do that, but they can never do that because they are the least talented、uh, personnel when it comes to the publicity and making PRs. <laughs> but anyway,、uh, looking at the approval. Rate of the Abe cabinet,、uh, it has stayed always at a very high level.、Uh, it's been four years and four months since the formation of the Abe cabinet, and the approval rate always stayed at level、uh, higher than the 50% throughout. So that is a golden opportunity, I say, where we should really go ahead with a real reform. A reform cannot be achieved if the cabinet is weak or there is a, a political instability. So this is a good opportunity where pent up reform could always get materialized. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much, uh, uh, Minister Aso, for a wonderful lecture and taking the time to、uh, join us this evening.、Uh, I'm David Weinstein, the、um, Director of Research at the Center on Japanese Economy and Business and the Carl Schaup Professor of、uh, Japanese, Japanese Economy at Columbia.、Uh, for those of you、uh, who don't uh, uh, know Carl Schaup, He was、uh, the head of a mission、um, of, comprised of three Columbia professors, including Bill Vickery、um, from the Economics Department, who、uh, won the Nobel Prize, who helped、um, uh, develop the Japanese、uh, tax system. So,、uh, Columbia's ties are not only to、uh, Japan in general, but、uh, very much to,、um, uh, connected to the、uh, Ministry of Finance.、Um, Uh, which um, uh, Minister also heads up.、Um, to reiterate,、um, Professor Patrick and uh, Ito, uh, we are deeply、uh, grateful、uh, to have Minister、uh, Aso here tonight um, and uh, thank him very much for his uh, contributions uh, for the, to this event.、Uh, it's been a great、uh, lecture dialogue, and I'm sure.、Um, Minister Aso's insights have left us with many interesting、uh, thoughts and, uh, and uh, ideas about 
uh, Japan. Uh, so just uh, to conclude, I want to thank you all for coming today and thank again the speakers uh, for, for a great session. Thank you very much. Thank you.